Hi, this is Dell. I'm going to show you how we're going to install this uh, driveway. We're getting ready to put in uh, an entry off of the main road here to the property. And this particular driveway, it's, it's different because we're going to do a pervious uh, concrete. Uh, the apron's going to be normal 3,000 pound mix and the pervious concrete is a special mix uh, that allows uh, the rainwater to penetrate through the, the slab and down into the ground. It helps with uh, stormwater control without doing retention and, and uh, drainage and, and things of that nature. So we've gone down to the, uh, uh, to the city and our engineers have come up with a solution for this pervious concrete drive entrance to the to the to the home uh, we've got a special situation here because these two existing driveways are for residential use and eventually this property will go commercial and we need access to the property with wider driveways there's a strip of land across the front that was taken over years ago by uh, somebody other than the family that owned this so what we've had to do is get an easement for this property uh, to to come around with this driveway and cut across and then these driveways will be uh, abandoned so we're going to start that process uh, here soon So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we've got to do some regrading. There are elevation changes going from a residential uh, thickness to a commercial grade thickness. So you go from four inch for residential, we're going with eight inch at the concrete apron, and then the previous is a six inch. And so we're going to pull out some of the gravel and shape the grades, and we're gonna have a, a slope on uh, uh, from inside turn to out. Uh, and so we're going to adjust the grades right now. So we've, we're having to adjust it down a little bit. We, we took some, the gravel out so then we could adjust the grades. So we have the four or five inches of the uh, number 57 stone here. And then there'll be the pervious concrete six inches on top of that. They'll go around the corner. The first thing we're going to do tomorrow, once we get the forms in, we're going to pour the concrete apron, which is the eight inch apron and the county or city wants us to have the slope of the apron three or four inches above the road so the water slopes out uh, and washes into the street. That's how they prefer to do it in uh, Fulton County. So this is the uh, entrance to the, to the driveway. We've got our erosion control measures in. Uh, we're putting our final grades on. We've got all the form work in. We've got uh, a 12 foot uh, concrete apron. It'll be eight inches thick here. We'll pour that tomorrow. Then we have a, um, we'll finish up the grades here and we'll get the rest of the driveway done probably the next couple of days and that'll be the six inch pervious. We're gonna wrap up the end of the uh, uh, finished grade of the, of the gravel. Okay, so we're gonna pour, the cone, pour it out. Uh, the first apron today, we've got the uh, safety cones out in the, the right of way and uh, trying to keep the, the uh, traffic from getting too congested. This is your normal uh, 3,000 pound mix, and that's a 12 foot concrete apron, and it'll slope from uh, the outside edge, will slope about three inches in the 12 feet. And that'll finish up the, uh, the apron with the 3,000 pound mix. We'll get this finished up and then get started on the uh, pervious installation. At the edge of where the drainage comes through, we want to make sure that we, the drains are clear and we put uh, some riprap, large boulders in there to make sure the water is filtrated and then put the uh, wheat straw around the perimeter. That's what the county wanted us to do. Okay, today is pervious concrete day. And what I'm going to show you 
is, is the process that they're going to use. It's an aggregate that it's a much fine, much more fine aggregate. It's a number seven stone. Derek, zoom in here on It's almost like a, uh, it's almost like a Rice Krispie treat. So you want that fine, it's a number seven stone, and, and it's, a, a, it's a Portland cement and water. Three ingredients, you can see Thomas Concrete uh, truck, and that's their proprietary design. But this is uh, Derek Daly uh, is installing the pervious concrete. Uh, very thorough job. They installed the apron yesterday. They're doing the pervious today. And we'll get some video here as we as we go along the process and cover it up with plastic, etc. What we've done here now, we're just gonna screed it out and then we'll float it in and then you gotta roll it in and pack it in. Thomas Concrete quality control is here. We're just watching everything go in. approaching 18 yards and, and you'll notice that one of the important factors for pervious is, is putting in the uh, plastic as soon as you can as soon as you get it rolled you put the plastic over it and that plastic will need to stay on for about seven days is the recommendation to let that cure up uh, a much slower process than a normal mix That's expertise right there. When you know you can see a low spot, and you know you've got to just touch it up. That's a lot of years of experience in knowing where to put it, put a little extra concrete, and then trowel it out. All right, Derek lives here. What do you think of the new driveway? Driveway looks good. All right, that'll finish it up. We'll finish up the, uh, the pervious here around the, uh, the radius finish. And then we'll do a little uh, sample test of the, of the water penetrating the uh, pervious, but we're gonna need a couple of days. It says to leave the tarps on it for seven days. We're gonna need a few days and then we'll rework the grades and some of the landscaping and, and that ought to wrap. We took the plastic off yesterday temporarily so we could do a city final inspection, which we, we got the approval. Uh, and so we put the plastic back on because we're not quite through seven days of cure time. About a quarter inch of rain. We're gonna see how the water's doing running off the driveway. We still have the plastic on it. But we're, got, we're not getting the same effect as, as the pervious concrete. It's more of an impervious surface now. And I just wanna take a look at the water and the runoff. It seems to be handling a quarter inch of rain easily. Okay, from a drawing perspective, we're coming in off the main road here, Crab Apple Road. We've got a 12 foot apron here with a flare. We ended up going with a radius because it's a commercial eight inch thick. And then you have a 24 foot wide drive that comes around and ties into the existing uh, driveway to go around this uh, property, which is not owned by the same uh, uh, homeowner here. So here's your finished product. 
impervious concrete driveway. I'll do a quick recap here on some things we taught, we discussed and what you've seen. We had great temperatures here the last couple of days. The last week, 40 to 60 degrees was perfect for the cure time. Uh, six to seven days uh, covered with plastic. Uh, we've, if, if you recall, the, the installation was done with a, with a kind of a makeshift uh, roller and a uh, concrete bowl float that they had weights on it, rocks on it. So uh, a lot of the pervious concrete specialists have specific rollers, stainless steel. We, we had a concrete guy that knows how to pour concrete and he, this was the first or second time he's put it down and he's very comfortable with, with being able to get it compacted. That's the key element. Our mixed design again was uh, Thomas Concrete was uh, a, uh, a specialty uh, proprietary mix, but we understand it's number seven stone, Portland cement, and water for the pervious mix. And how you get it to mix up, there's other uh, YouTube videos on how to get it compaction right, but we, we had 30 yards of concrete, so we had to get that brought in, that mix brought in. We're very pleased, I am very pleased with the turnout. There's no splotches in it. The finish is great. It's not raveling. It was cured properly, so it, so it uh, maintains the tightness on the top. We'll be able to drive cars over it. We did the saw cutting today to control the concrete cracks. It's somewhat of a, uh, a DIY, but we had our concrete guys uh, help us out on it. I'm gonna quickly do a, um, uh, a test with the ASTM, the American Society of Testing Materials. They have a specific for pervious concrete. It's C-1701. I don't have the specific bucket, but I'll show you right quick. We'll take a look at it on, on how it works. Do a little closer view. Well, you can see it. It's pretty much disappears so we're very happy with that if you are please hit like on the video if you have any questions feel free to uh, reply or comment on uh, uh, the YouTube page hope you enjoyed